Holy shit, that would work. Welcome to Make a Path Presents. My name's Ronnie Hayes. Today we're going to talk about The Walking Dead. They posted a quick teaser for Episode 9. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and search uh, The Walking Dead mid-season premiere for Season 6 uh, official teaser and then watch. I'll try to put a link in the description. If not, quick search and you'll find it. Uh, basically, it was something really small. To me, in my opinion, it only gave away two worrisome clues and then uh, basically reinforced what we kind of already predicted they were doing based off the source material, which is that gladiator fight. Now, I will save something at the end of this video that's a spoiler for the comic book, which might be a spoiler for the show. So at the end, I'll give you a warning. Let's go to the two concerns. The one, it's kind of dark. It looks a lot darker than it did in episode uh, eight, which means uh, either something because of filming and then it just got dark in a matter of uh, on the show. It'll, it will appear to get dark in a matter of minutes while they're fighting, and then it will be nighttime while they're fighting. I don't have a problem with them fighting at nighttime. It just was something that stood out to me. I don't like when movies do that where someone walks in to a building five minutes later, it's dark outside already. And another worrisome thing is even though it was a teaser, we only got little snippets. Now, I worry about that because a lot of times in movie and television, when they only give us, a, uh, you guys already know, they give us way too much, way too often. And when they only give us a little bit, little niblet, uh, niblets, yeah, whatever, little nuggets, oftentimes it's because they don't have much to give us at all. So I'm worried about that because in my, you know, in my mind, this should be, a, a, you know, deadly battle that lasts over, I don't know, 30 minutes of filming time because we're going back and forth between everyone and I'm talking about 30 minutes of uh, the action happening in the middle of Alexandria uh, the people outside of Alexandria in the show right now it's Glenn, Eden, and Maggie uh, everything going the shit people coming together and then the big battle I was just picturing something very extensive uh, very an extended gladiator fight scene so I'm a little worried we're not going to get to that however Let's go into some pros. We are getting that. It does look like we're going to be getting, to stay spoiler free, it does look like we're going to be getting the uh, Anderson family moment during this, uh, well, we kind of already seen Sammy saying mommy at the end of it was going to cause a ruckus. It looks like we're going to get something from the comic book that is very shocking at that moment. <whistles> All right. Past that point, we are getting the gladiator battle. I am extremely excited for that. And we do see Heath and Spencer, I believe, in the background a little bit blurry. Maggie, that caught me by surprise because Maggie's screaming as if she's watching Glenn being torn apart. She just has this terrified, uh, just shocked, I can't believe it, I'm stuck up here and I'm watching this and I, I can't do anything about it. Uh, look on her face. Now, if they didn't, fake his death out, uh, I would possibly believe there's a real good chance Glenn could die right now. And that would be a very hard way to end that character. And I mean like emotionally hard because she's stuck. I, w I would buy that 100% that they would do something like that. I'm not convinced the timing is right, but that would actually... Uh, that might actually really work for an, a, a very harsh death right now, an emotional death, if she stuck up there and watches him get torn down. Uh, but because they faked them out, I don't really see them doing that right now. Being like, oh, we faked you out, and then, oh, just kidding, he's really dead. Uh, now, if this was happening at the end of the season and there was some time in between, I could definitely see that. Like Glenn dying at the end of the season. I could probably see that even though they faked them out because there was a little bit of time in there. But because it's back-to-back -back and there was so much focus in the first half on it, I'm not really convinced they're going to kill him just yet. But I am still suspect about that scream because it was a blood-curdling. I'm watching a loved one get torn apart, at least in my opinion. Uh, what do you guys think that scream meant? Put your thoughts and opinions in that comment box. Another thing, let me see, do we talk all about the gladiator stuff? Yeah, they're fighting, it's going to be wicked, and I'm going to save the spoiler for the end, but let's just talk about Daryl, Sasha, and Abraham real quick. Uh, the guys on the bike, one of the, th the saviors is standing in the, the middle of the street when he tells them to get out in the sneak peek we saw. And then in the trailer, it looks like, in this teaser, it looks like he's on the bike, 
he takes a gun from Daryl, and then he aims the gun at what they make us think is Abraham. Now, this could just be, I don't know, bullshit. This could be, uh, you know, Dwight, for all we know, coming around the corner on the motorcycle. Uh, the guy aims his gun at him. Dwight turns around, hauls ass, and then the saviors, you know, we will see you guys again, Daryl, Abraham. Holy shit, that would work. That would actually work. Listen, peep this. Real, I'm going to keep this real quick because I want this to be short. But if they are taking shit off of Abraham and all them, and they're they're out looking for Dwight, if Dwight, in the middle of their shit, we hear... And then they look over and they see Dwight pop up around the corner, you know, squeal the tires because now he busts a U-turn to get the hell out of there, then we see the saviors go, listen, we will see you again. Uh, you know, and we'll, I don't know, come back for what we left or some shit. I don't know. Maybe they leave a guy to be like, well, no, that would be stupid because he's outnumbered. Let's just say they get all their weapons and they're like, you can have what you got for now. We will find you again. And they take off after Dwight. This way, we don't have to waste any uh, CGI using the, uh, the RPG. We don't have to do any elaborate fight scene between them. We don't have to worry about being unrealistic because they have you know, guns drawn on them. They uh, you know, are outnumbered, outgunned from what it looks like. And it makes it now logical that the saviors or at least I didn't think about this deeply, but the saviors aren't following them back to their camp because I'm not going to buy it if the saviors let them go after taking their weapons and don't ask about their camp, about other supplies, about what community they're from. If they have this thing established already, they're going to press the issue and find out where they're from, if, it's, if they're passing through, if they're from a community, what community... For all they know, they could be scouts, you know, trying to attack them because of uh, shit they're doing with the other communities. Anyway, it makes sense that Dwight would lead them away. And then we would know, yeah, Dwight got caught because later we'll see him get caught in the burn face. I think that wraps that up together very good. I like that. I'm going to do some more uh, thinking on that, that idea right there. Let me know your... Uh, first opinions on that idea. Put those down in the comment box. I think that would separate that story as an in and out really well and tie up loose ends for now. Anyway, now we're going to get into the spoiler topic. If you don't want to know, jump ship now. If you do want to know, we're going to get right into this in three, two, one. Big spoiler from the comic book. Carl gets shot in the comic book. In the beginning of this teaser, we hear a soft Rick Grimes voice as if he is kneeling at the bed or sitting by the bed of his wounded son talking to him very similar to the comic where he says, uh, I thought we can live safely behind these walls and I was wrong. Uh, he could ev either be talking to Carl or a woman, a female, uh, e even Michonne because they're very close. But I'm going to say it fits more along the comic book lines or at least it's given me hope that Carl will get injured. Uh, not sure if it's going to be the face one, but Carl will get injured and they will uh, have to take him with to Denise or do that comic book storyline where the wolves are out there. I'm still going to say it's a wolf. It just makes sense. They would bring the wolf out there. The wolf would get torn apart by walkers as he's going down. He's firing off and it clips Carl. If you guys are going to talk about, uh, you know, between the comic book and everything, be careful for talking about spoilers. Uh, just Put a spoiler tag. If you got a spoiler tag and you're chit-chatting, at least uh, especially the people who don't read the comic books, they're not going to just read something they won't, don't want to read. Uh, just uh, spoiler tags. They're simple. Just so simple. You know, spoiler warning, space, 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 and talk your hearts out. Uh, anyway, I do have faith, or not faith, I do have hope right now because of this teaser. They're going to do the gladiator battle. Not sure it's going to be as big as we would want it to be. And I do have hope, more hope now than I did before, that they will be adapting Carl's injury. As far as how extensive, I'm not sure at this point. Anyway, I got to go to upload this video. Give me your thoughts and opinions on this teaser in that comment box. And let me know how excited are you to finally start seeing some promos. And, you know, February 14th is going to be here very soon. Uh, not soon enough for most of us. Anyway, thoughts and opinions in that comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.